Hello and welcome to this time of prayer and reflection at the end of the day. My name is Vicky, for those who don't know me. I'm part of the team at St Thomas's Blackpool, uh, but I'm recording this tonight from my home. It is Monday the 22nd of May and last Thursday was Ascension Day in the church and from Ascension Day through to next Sunday, Pentecost Sunday, those 11 days are days of prayer. We are called uh, by the Archbishop of Canterbury to spend all of these days in prayer, in preparation for the coming of the Holy Spirit uh, on, on Pentecost. And in this time of waiting, and waiting as the uh, first uh, disciples did, um, when Jesus had ascended into heaven, they went back to Jerusalem and met together and prayed. So um, there will be a time during this uh, service to pray for people that you know who have not yet said yes to Jesus Christ. So uh, that is the main focus, really, of our time of prayer tonight. But I'm going to use a um, special order of service that has been... Um, given out by the Church of England for this time of prayer, which is called Thy Kingdom Come. So the words will not appear on the screen, but please be uh, patient and bear with me as, as I lead you through the order of service. A lot of the words for those who uh, go to church will be very familiar, but it's a very simple act of worship at the t at the end of the day. So shall we just spend a few moments in quiet and just focus on the presence of God who is with each one of us wherever we are. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Dear friends, for 40 days we have been celebrating with joyful hearts the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ his bursting forth from the tomb, and his defeat of the power of sin and death. He appeared to his disciples many times and told them about the kingdom of God. At this time we recall how he left the earth and returned to his Father, ascending into heaven to take his throne over all dominions and powers, trusting in his reign over all creation and submitting to his kingly yet loving rule, let us hear the story of his parting. And a special prayer for thy kingdom come. Almighty God, your ascended Son has sent us into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your spirit and fill our hearts with the fire of your love, that all who hear your word may be drawn to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. In my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach, until the day he was taken up to heaven. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. 
This, he said, is what you have heard from me, for John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you, got, as you saw him go into heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. That's a very powerful image. Can you imagine being one of the disciples on that mountain, watching Jesus be lifted up and covered in a cloud? and disappearing from their sight. They have had many confusing days, confusion, such grief at the crucifixion. And then this confusion and surprise that Jesus rose again three days later and appeared to them. And so they've spent this time, 40 days, with him, the resurrected Jesus. He's continued to teach them. He's continued to minister to them. And now, now he's going away. That again would be confusing. Why should he not stay? But he says to them in another part of Acts, if I don't go away, then the advocate cannot come, the Holy Spirit. So, in that belief that we have that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died for us, took all our sins upon himself, there on the cross defeated sin and death and three days later rose again and is now ascended and taken his seat at the right hand of the Father where he is interceding for us. We have a great high priest in heaven, Jesus himself. And so in that faith, let us turn to prayer. And we are going to pray for the church and for the world, for ourselves, and particularly pray for five people who we know, who do either not, not yet know Jesus Christ or have not yet said yes to him and believed in him. Just spend a few moments now and think through the names of five people who you are who would you would love to see come to faith in Jesus.
And as we come in prayer, Lord Jesus, hear the cry of our hearts. As we pray in joy and hope to the Father, we pray for churches across the world, particularly those who are isolated and persecuted. Father, give them fresh strength. May they rejoice in this time of Easter and Ascension. We pray particularly for Christians in countries where there is the greatest persecution. And we pray for the work and ministry of Open Doors, who work with churches in the most persecuted countries. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we think about people not only across the world but in our own country who lack food, shelter or work. Lord, where people are struggling to make ends meet, where there is great anxiety over having not enough money to live on. We pray for those who are in rented accommodation that is not up to standard. We pray for those families and single parents with children. Lord, we pray that there will be justice, that there will be adequate accommodation for every person. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And by your power, Lord God, cause war and famine to cease in this world. We pray tonight, Lord, especially for the countries of Sudan, Myanmar, Yemen and Ukraine where people are, are dying and being injured over the fight over land. Lord, stop the weapons of war. Bring peace. Bring your peace, Lord, to these countries. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, as we think of this time of thy kingdom come, the prayer initiative through Ascension Tide, Lord, we name now before you the five people on our heart and mind. And in this time, bring actually speak the names of those people out loud. Lord, we know that the people that we have named are precious to you. Help us to speak your good news to them. May they hear the gospel of Jesus Christ in such a way, Lord, that they respond and say yes. Open up hearts and minds, Lord to receive Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our own church, Lord, at St. Thomas's, we pray for everyone who's in leadership, all those who work so tirelessly, Lord, week by week, day by day. We pray for our vicar, Reverend Dave, 
his wife Alice and his son Josh. And we ask you to help them continue to recover from their recent illnesses. Lord, have your healing hand upon them. Give them strength and give them vision and give them wisdom as they lead your church in this place. We pray, Lord, for the coming of our new curate, LJ, in July, praying that as she moves to Blackpool, you will bless her in her new home. And bless her ministry, Lord. Open up doors for her to exercise the gifts that you have given her. May she be a blessing to us and we be a blessing to her. We pray for all our PCC members, for all those in our worship team, gardening team, cleaning team, pastoral ministry and prayer teams. Lord, we thank you that you have empowered us, Lord, to use the gifts that you've given us. May we grow your church in this place. And may we reach out to our community with your love and your mercy and your grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord God, that you may reveal the light of your presence to those who are sick, who are weak, who are dying. Comfort and strengthen them. Be with all those who love them, giving them all that they need at this time. And in a moment's quiet, name before God those known to you to you who need his healing touch. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so, Father, we bring ourselves to you. Lord, you know, you know us so intimately. Even the hairs on our head are counted. There is nothing about us that you do not know. Forgive us where we have failed you. Forgive us where we have injured others. Heal our spirits where others have injured us. Lord, you are the God of life. And we thank you for the life that you have given to us. May we use this life to honour your name, to glorify you. We pray to you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Live within us, Lord, as, you, as we wait for the celebration of Pentecost. We know that we have the Holy Spirit now. And he draws us closer to you. Lord, help us to focus on you and have Jesus at the centre of our lives. So that whatever befalls us, we know that we have that strength. That it is in Christ alone that we stand. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.
And here is a responsory prayer. The responses make us ready for your coming spirit. As we wait in silence, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we read and listen to your holy word, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we worship you in majesty, make us ready for your coming spirit. And as we long for your refreshing, make us ready for your coming spirit. And so joining all our prayers together in the words that Jesus taught us, say, let us say together, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so as we come to the end of our time of prayer together, Please continue to pray for those five people that you know who you want to respond to Jesus and say yes. Let us keep on praying for the spread of the gospel and wherever we can to speak about Jesus. And so in peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. And our blessing from Numbers chapter 6. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord turn his face towards us and give us peace. Amen. May you have a peaceful and restful night's sleep. May the Lord bless you indeed and help you to wake refreshed in the morning. Good night and God bless.